So Rick, what were some of the attributes that you could identify that were kind of marquee of some successful business partners before the world kind of changed, before we had these crises versus now? I thought that successful partners were those who first and foremost were maniacally focused on their customers. And what I mean by that is they were working to really drive a, a digital strategy, a digital agenda, and they were also making sure that their customers were leveraging the tools and software that the customer had already made the investment in. Where they need to be, they already knew they needed to be, is this idea of outcome-based consultative selling, where I'm listening more than I'm talking, I'm understanding my customer's problem and delivering a solution tailored to it. They knew they needed to be there, they were on the path there, that path just got short. It really is a business conversation, partner to customer. First, it's not a technology conversation. We're blazing new trails here, and partners are really gonna be key advocates for their customers through these times. I think that the most successful partners will have better business conversations, true business conversations with their customers. And those will lead to business outcomes that are more digitally oriented and more appropriate for the post-crisis future. Tell me about some of the next steps that you think smart partners are gonna start taking to set up for the, the next stage, so to speak. I think they're gonna get much deeper into that idea of being able to truly understand the business side of their customer's technology problem and the technology side of their customer's business problem and tying those two things together. I'm a hobby woodworker, and so I can watch a YouTube video and go do a project and build something myself, just built a shed, but the shed costs me more than having an expert do it. And the shed has problems that an expert wouldn't have had that I'll always have in that shed. If I'd have called the right consultant, the right expert, I've gotten the results I needed at a lower cost. The partner should be that consultant. So Joe, we've heard some of the challenges. How does Continuum help its partners address those? At Continuum, we come from a channel and a partner background. We've built practices as big as 50 million and ran practices as big as 600 million. So we have an understanding of how that works. We know that pr new practice means a million dollar investment, a 50% risk, and 12 to 18 months time to value. We know that we can reduce that with standardized operations. And we know that in most cases, you don't need to build a new practice. You need to revamp, adapt, and modernize an old practice. We look at it as a business plan, as if you're building a new business, it just happens to be inside your existing business. So everything starts with a literal business plan. We go from the business plan to the hiring model, to the calendar, to the sales to service integration, and we go through every step that it's gonna to take to build, launch, and get a practice profitable, shrinking that 12 to 18 month return on investment down to six to 12 months. The idea being, let's look at it holistically holistically, soup to nuts, following our continuum modality, which is our way of looking at digital transformation. What makes you different? Uh, there's a lot of business partners I could choose out there. Why continuum? I always like to know where somebody gets paid if I'm gonna work for them. So there are partners you're gonna work with that get paid when they sell you the product. So they're incentivized on the product. That's not us. And there are partners that you work with that are incentivized on consulting hours, and that's not us. You pay us for outcomes. We decide what it is your business needs from us, and when we deliver that outcome, you pay us for that price. So we're never looking for more hours. We always want to get to the finish line for you and your business. The second piece is that we look at transformation as a continual process. So while you might come in and say, Joe, help me DevOps all the things, as I'm helping you DevOps all the things, I'm building a process for repeated technology adoption within your organization, your business, and your technology teams.